Hello guys, I'm Draco and welcome to Dracoverse. The new season is up and Modoc is here. On reveal, discard your hand. When you pair this up with cards such as Invisible Women, Hela, Morbius, or even Swarm and Apocalypse, right? This card becomes really, really strong, and that is where today's deck comes into play. Today's deck is a discard deck that revolves around Morbius, Dracula, and Apocalypse and Lockjaw. I don't have Modoc because I do not get him. I don't find discard decks to work out for me most of the time, which is why I have Black Bolt in. So if you guys have Modoc, you can replace Black Bolt and you can work with this. I also have another deck that actually works amazingly well. That is my Modoc Hella deck. You can go for a deck like this and it will definitely work. But you just need to have the Invisible Women in the uh in the whatever like this is like in the deck because the goal of the deck is to actually replace this and then you play your invisible woman so turn two you go for invisible woman turn three you can go for lady sif or sword master it doesn't matter turn four you go for uh dracula on another location turn five you can go for like helka or uh you can go for the modok you can replace let's say like hulk with modok and then you can on the final turn go for hella on invisible women so modok discards your full hand which is like of decent power and then uh hellas respawns them in different location winning you the game i find this deck for modok to be more consistent uh, compared to other decks so hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching see you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video until then signing off dracovers we are facing off against the real person and we do start off with the uh, colin wing it would be amazing if we could draw swarm next turn so i can just um tempo this guy and it would be really really good actually uh, if i could uh tempo this guy or i guess i can i guess i can so we can just go for this discarding this which which gives us so much power actually the amount of power that this is gonna give is absurd because we can just go for Lockjaw. If I draw my Lockjaw, it's just a free win. Like, that's Wardmaster, which I'm just gonna go for it because I want this Wardmaster to hit. Uh, is it is it better to go for... I think it's better to go for Gambit here because Gambit might hit uh, one of the Swarm and it might hit the Lockjaw, which, which in turn like gives me like uh, quite a lot of power. So it did, it did hit Lady Sif and uh, Gamble did not pay off. Well, that's sad. He goes for Electro and that is a Shang-Chi. Wow, that is sad. That's actually, actually sad. I think I'm just going to go for um, uh, Hellcow here. Because Hellcow has a good chance of discarding Apocalypse. And it is good. And since he played a Shang-Chi here, right? I am confident enough that uh, he does not have a uh... nice 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 let's go okay dark arc pretty pretty much like yeah okay that is that's like uh, amazing that is like amazing so it just moves right there that is only 15 power for him right there so right now we can go for something like lock here with respect to Swordmaster, which in turn gives me a couple of swarms. So if the Swordmaster does not hit uh, America Chavez, then uh, we can go for America Chavez here with a couple of swarms, which is enough for us to uh, overall win the game. And um, I don't know what card I have even. Like, do I have another discard card in my uh, deck? I don't know. And I'm just like... Uh... Okay, that is nice. Oh, I do have Morbius actually, which which I did hit, which uh, I did hit actually. Okay, that isn't bad. That is isn't bad and that is Enchantress. So that's Cosmo and that's the uh, devil, which is not enough for him to win the game. So I think we can just go for Hated Retreat because this is a win for us. We are facing up against Spike, and we do have Lockjaw in the starting hand, which is amazing for us. So it would be nice if I could get my hands on Apocalypse or... Uh, I don't know. Any one of those would be like uh, nice. Okay, we are not going to play Colin Wing. No, Colin Wing is like... Don't do uh, Colin Wing like turn one. 
if it's not worth it sorry uh, when like you have a uh, hand like this and uh, i think i just go for yeah i think i just go for lockjaw in here and i think i just go for gambit probably but if i draw my swarm it is just gonna be calling wind on the swarm location so okay he goes for electro mm, i don't want to destroy this but i think i have to we do draw the swarm so let's go for this one which discards the swarm and let's go for the sword master right about in here so which discards something random so that's nice let's go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that is morbius which is amazing and that hits lady Siv, which i am completely completely okay with and he has null wait what this guy has null or am i facing off against a bot Okay, I'm gonna snap, okay? I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna play this. And then I'm gonna, like... Oh... Wait. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play this and then play this here. And then I'm gonna chill this turn. So that this thing hits the null. So I have a good chance of... Uh, of uh, winning, actually. Okay, that is Apocalypse. That is Swarm, which actually moves to Shava as well. Wow, that's insane, actually. That is actually insane. <laughs> Yondu, which hits Colin Wing, which I'm okay with, actually. But usually I would have played uh, uh, Helka with uh, that, but it's alright. So we do have Gambit. I think I can go for my Gambit, and then I can go for my Helka, which is amazing. So Helka discards uh, more of these Swarms. So it actually helps us by a lot and also it hits uh, the magic and yondu so this is overall looking good but not uh, insanely good the one problem is uh, he has two turns and he actually has more mana uh, compared to us with respect to super flow and also other things so if he wants to go for galactus on super flow which he can because usually null plays uh, uh, Galactus and if he goes for Galactus right there it's just a loss for us and even um, Dracula cannot save us because we already drew uh, the swarm so this is this is like yeah this is like whatever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's go with this that is Venom wait that's Venom no way he no whoa wow wait what okay this guy is definitely playing galactus from the looks of it right i can clearly see that he's playing galactus clearly i think it is just this 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 i think it's just that much i think it is just that much and then this guy discards a swarm like that's the this is the best i could do actually or what I could do is I can just go for Dracula and here. Then I can just play four here. But I don't think that's even worth it. So yeah, let's just do this and then in turn. And see like we are winning the middle and we are winning the left. He does not have much power. So if he goes for Galactus into another card, he's going to lose. Okay, because Galactus does not work like that. So I don't know. I might get like four cubes here. If not, I am okay with it. And my man's taking quite a long time, man. He did retreat because he had no way of winning. And that is just amazing. We are facing off against uh, Polyman. And we do have uh, uh, Morbius in the starting hand with respect to Lockjaw and Colin Wing. Which is pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go for, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for more base in here. And uh, we are going to give up on Altar of Death. Maybe, or I can just go for, okay. Oh, he went for armor right there. Okay, that is actually he good for us. Because now what I can do is I can actually go for my Lockjaw on Altar of Death. Which in turn gives me so much power. And uh, we go for Lockjaw right there. And that is Electro, which I am completely, wait. Why would you play armor and then you would... Why would you play your Electro? I don't get you. Okay, let's go for uh, Dracula right there. Right? And then I think I just go for Colin Wing with respect to Gambit. Let's clon. Okay with that. Completely, completely okay with that. 
So let's go for uh, Colin Wing with respect to Gambit. And uh, I don't mind. That one is a Cosmo. Which is actually alright with me. Cosmo is completely, completely okay with me. And uh, that's nice. So that is Shabazz. Okay, which gives me uh, some power. There is another swarm that is gonna get hit. Wow, this is amazing. And Cosmo did get hit. And then there is Lady Sif, which discards uh, Apocalypse, which in turn gives us so much power. Let's go. Okay. Go for this one in here. Go for this in here, right? And then go for this one, these two guys right in here. And whatever the swarm transforms into might be the win condition that we are uh, hoping for. Yeah, or I can do something like, I can do something like this, right? I go for this one in here, so discard. This one in here, this one in here, and uh, yeah, I think, I think this is, this is how it's gonna be, and I'm just gonna snap off of this. Yeah, so whatever the swarm hits, like Helka or stuff like that, Helka would discard this one and this one, and uh, we'll have like quite a lot of power uh, in the middle, and also in the uh, right. So it hits Black Bolt, okay, so that is swarm. And uh, tell me it hits the... Okay, it did hit Gambit, which is okay with us. And that is 16 power. And uh, wait, is that Onslaught? It's that Onslaught. Oh, that is Onslaught, which is going to be 12 and 12. And that is a win for us in this location. And that was a tie in the middle. And that was a good thing I went for Swarms on the rightmost location. Because I knew something like that uh, would happen. We are facing off against Zyne and this is Pisk Tower so we can go for Lockjaw and then we can go for Swarm which is actually pretty good. Let's go for that and um, you want to be playing uh, Lockjaw on the Pisk Tower because of reasons actually. So that's Expansion, uh, let's go for uh, Lockjaw right there and I think I'm gonna go for Hellcow. Wait, is this guy a bot? I think this is a bot so I will take the win. That is Black Bolt. Oh my god. That guy actually helped us. This guy actually helped us. Black Bolt actually actually helped us. Wow. So we go for Colin Wing. Okay, which is going to duplicate a lot of these guys. So I think I can play my Swarm uh, right about in here. And I think I can snap off of this. It is actually absurd how strong that is. Okay, that is Khazar. Uh huh, uh huh. So that, yes, that gives me quite a lot of uh, units. And that is Lady Sif, which is amazing. Okay, so all we need right now is a draw. Um, yeah, Morbius, right? Oh god, we hit Morbius, yes. Okay, let's go for Gambit. Wait, is it like, is it Gambit or is it just this guy? I think it is just this guy. Yeah, I think it is just this guy and then another swarm. And uh, I don't think I'm even going to save for this. So I'm just going to go for this one in the middle. So let's see. Let's see what he has in store for us. Because he played his Khazar. And uh, okay, that is Ironheart. And that is okay. So I hit a Squirrel Girl, which is huge. Uh, there is another swarm. Mm -hmm. So we have turn 7, okay? We have turn 7, remember that. So let's go for this one and then this one in here. Yeah, let's go for Gambit and let's go for Swordmaster. Because we have turn 7 as well uh, because of uh, uh, Limbo. So we can actually be greedy and on the final turn, as long as I draw... Okay, that is Mystique, which is no, come on. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, this is a win for us, right? Okay, I'm just gonna play my Apocalypse here, which I think is gonna give us 12 power, so I think it wins us this location, unless he has Captain Marvel. And unless he plays this Captain Marvel here, it is a win for us. So this is an 8 cube loss or an 8 cube win. So that is paid Priyate, which is not enough for him to win the leftmost location. And that is a win for us. Wow. 
That was way too close. That was way, way too close. And let's go. That is 8 cube win. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off. Crackerverse.